When you go to jail, the first thing they take from you is your shoelaces. I thought so they could break your dignity, show their authority. It's so you don't hang yourself. They didn't tell me that. I'm here because I used to sell Oxycontins, 20, 40, 80 milligrams. My job now is to be a barcode and listen to people that hate me. I didn't grow up poor. They call it a lower middle class. All I know is I got food stamps and all my clothes came from a place where the price tags were written in Sharpies. It is not an easy job. But you learn to make relationships. Maximize profits by going to the rich neighborhoods. Always easier to sell to the suburban kids. We got a saying around here, sellouts are the best buyers. You know in the state of Virginia, when you're a felon, you got a petition to get your right to vote back? I learn more about this country here than I did at Watkins Mill High School. But now that I'm a felon, I can't vote? That's ironic, yeah. I always thought irony was for British comedies and white girls with guitars. <laughs> I used to write a lot as a kid. I kept some of the journals to remind myself my mother's son is not a wicked man. What they don't tell you is all the addicts get stuck in your head. They're not all junkies and college tweakers. They're semi-pro athletes with no insurance. They're construction workers with herniated discs. Their mothers who taught me how to tie my shoelaces. Both of my parents died of overdoses. I paid for their funerals with drug money. There goes that irony again. A poet's been coming to the prison lately. She gave me something called a, uh, a writing prompt. I'd start a poem with the sentence, if the streets could talk. But I'm not much of a writer anymore. Every time I try, I see my parents' blood on my own fingertips. If the streets could talk, I try again. My hand shakes through the page. All the guards flinch when I stand. But she tells me it's okay not to write. That listening can do just as much. So I do. Today she read from a collection of poems. One of them said, the world's breath is what we call silence, and it gets so quiet in here. You would think prison an ungoverned clamor, but it is still windless. So again, I write, if the streets could talk, no, if the streets could talk, they would say, if the streets could talk, I wouldn't. I have seen what happens to those that do. Faces bled into the asphalt. I just want to carve my parents' name into a tree. Remind my mother I can still make things beautiful. Tell my father that he was a fireman, but I turned him into a furnace. I wrote all of these things in my journal tonight, but I dare not tell a soul if I did. They'd all think I want my shoelaces back. Thank you. Uh, yeah. Thank you for letting me share that piece. Uh